This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today we're going to talk about how to get rid of runner's knee. If you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe. So runner's knee, basically, obviously they call it runner's knee because it happens more in runners. But basically, your IT band, which goes all the way down the side of your hip, it attaches at the side of your shin bone. And as it's traveling all the way down the side of your hip, it can rub on the lateral femoral condyle, meaning the, your IT band's coming like this. Your lateral femoral condyle is coming like this, uh, which is the outside of your femur bone. You can kind of feel it if you push in on yourself. And like the more times you run, it just kind of rubs on this little part down here. It rubs, 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 rubs. And you start getting friction in there and you start getting pain and you can get a bursa sac. They call that runner's knee. It's pain on the outside of your knee, like right above the knee joint. You can kind of push into it and, and it should sort of hurt. And again, it's happening in runners because they're, they're having this movement so often it gets tight and it rubs on that. So how do you get rid of it? So the main problem is that the IT band is too tight. And again, you can have the IT band too tight around the hip, but in this case, it's around the knee. So the primary thing you can do is just to stretch it. Obviously, if you take time off running, that'll make it get better. A lot of runners don't want to do that. This isn't a problem that causes arthritis. It's mostly a pain issue. So if you run through it, it can be inflamed and cause other biomechanical issues. So a lot of people sort of choose to run through it. Um, something that I've found that helps a lot is sometimes if you can pinpoint it with a steroid injection, you can really essentially clear that information, that inflammation out. And the nice thing about uh, injecting a bursa is it's, it, it usually doesn't come back. So that's kind of a one and done sort of injection, obviously combined with um, exercises. Very rarely does it need surgery. I think I've maybe seen it once where someone will actually make an incision and actually take out that bursa and kind of cut a diamond shaped in the IT band and it doesn't rub. But again, I think a busy surgeon may do one of, one of these cases every few years. So it's not really commonly done. By far and away, you can get rid of it with stretches and an injection. So I hope I was able to answer your question about how to get rid of runner's knee. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But I can't give you any specific medical advice because this video and all my videos are for educational purposes only.